नॉर्थ बेंगाल लोकेटेड एट द ईस्टर्न रेंज ऑफ द हिमालयाज इज अ ट्रू बर्डर्स पैराडाइज वेस्ट बेंगाल हैज मोर देन 800 हंड्रेड बर्ड स्पीसीज विच इज मोर देन एनी अदर स्टेट नॉर्थ बेंगाल कैन बी वेरी इजिली एक्सेस्ड फ्रॉम एनी वेर इन इंडिया द फ्लाइट कनेक्टिविटी इज वेरी गुड हाउएवर आवर जर्नी वॉज प्लैन बाय ट्रेन We boarded Bandewadat Express from Howrah and our destination was New Jalpaiguri. So we have boarded the train and we are all set for our journey. So let's see how the train experience is and can't wait to be in Lakpanchar. Within few minutes into the journey, we were served our breakfast. breakfast is finally here roti is getting ready to eat so we have bread butter omelet and a mango juice for the breakfast after eating our breakfast we were enjoying the train journey and the scenic beauty outside and before we realized it was lunch time the lunch was pretty standard non veg thali After finishing our lunch, our train finally reached our destination, NJP station, where our car was waiting to pick us up. We drove through the beautiful forests and greeneries, and I was really enjoying every bit of the ride. Little did I knew that on the road itself, I would have one of the most sought-after bird of the region. which was the red headed trogon and yeah it was a lifer for me as well when i reached the spot i saw a lot of people already clicking it After clicking the trogon we left the place and moved towards our homestay our stay was booked at the lath panchar homestay the homestay was clean and it had all the basic amenities as a birder myself and a wildlife enthusiast we actually don't need that much luxury during our wildlife expeditions so i was very happy with the place that i had even though the place was not that much luxurious however i must mention that the food quality and the taste was extremely good the next morning we left early for birding around the Latpanchar region and the Maldiram region the first bird that we encountered was a very vocal bird and also it was a lifer for me as well it was the himalayan kakku So right now we are in this beautiful habitat and we had the sighting of Himalayan kukku and let's see what else we can find here The next bird that we encountered was a very special bird 
It was the Darjeeling woodpecker and I was very happy to finally find this bird. After clicking the woodpecker, we found a golden throated barbet feeding on berries and it was really a nice bird to see. We found a very nice trail nearby and we could hear a whole lot of bird sounds around that area. So we went there and we found a whole lot of birds. The first bird that came into our sight was a fire-breasted flower picker. We also spotted a rusty-fronted barwing and a silver-eared messia in the same area. And finally, I caught a glimpse of the Himalayan Cutia, which was one of my target species. So, so far we had a great uh, time birding in the morning session. So let's see how the afternoon session goes. So we are here for a small tea break right now and really like I'm enjoying the place. Not just the birds and the habitats, we also enjoyed nice Darjeeling tea and freshly cooked momos after our birding session. And I must say, these were the best momos I have ever had. During our afternoon session, the bird activity was very less. However, we found one of our target species and probably the most beautiful looking bird of the region, the long-tailed broadbill, which is also very well known by the name of helmet bird. The next day, early in the morning, we left Lath Panchar and we went towards Rongtong and Sivkola, where our target species were the collared falconet and the great Indian hornbills. The habitat and the region was too good. Birding inside the tea estate was really a treat for us. After searching for a while, we finally encountered our first target species, the collared falconet, and we found not just one, but two of them.
this region also had whole lot of hill minas even though it's a very common bird but definitely it is one of the most beautiful minas and finally after a very long search we came across a flock of great indian hornbills and what a sight it was So I had a great time birding in Latpanchar. Now most of you might be thinking why there is no rufous neck thornbill in this video. Well, the reason is uh, like they started nesting already. So they are few kilometers inside the forest, uh, and I have a little bit of injury in my feet, so I could not do that trek. So it's moderate to hard trek at this point. So normally during the courtship uh, time and the like mating season they are like they can be seen from the road itself and you don't need to do this hard trek however this year they have started nesting very early so that is why i decided not to do that trek so that gives me a reason to come back to lat panchar again and this that time i'll be looking for the hosson's frog mouth as well as the rufous neck hornbill so i'm definitely coming back to lat panchar uh since rest of the key species i have already covered so the next time when i'm going to come here i'm going to enjoy and get those two species for sure and if you have enjoyed this video i'll request you to please subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next video